Hey guys, it's Haley, and I'm back to teach you guys a new memory verse. This time we're going to be in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 7, verse 10. So I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys the new words of motions. So first we're starting off with godly. We're going to do our sign language motion for God. Taking our hand, turning it sideways, bring it in between your eyeballs and over your nose. Okay, godly. Sorrow, we're going to trace our face where tears will be coming out of our eyeballs and down our cheeks. So godly, sorrow brings we're going to reach out and we're going to pull something close to our chest or bring in something close to our chest so brings repentance then we're going to push out from our chest and then we're going to fold our hands out so it brings repentance so we're giving we're we are repenting of our sins okay so let's do that much godly sorrow brings repentance all right next it goes into which leads which leads we're making our pathway. We're leading down another road, which leads to salvation. Then we're going to cross our arms. We're going to make a cross with our arms. Okay. So let's do that much. Godly sorrow brings repentance, which leads to salvation and leaves. So next we're going to push something back. We're leaving something. Leave. We're leaving no regret. And so then we're just going to cross our arms. So leaves no regret. Okay, let's try that much. Godly sorrow brings repentance, which leads to salvation and leaves no regret. Okay, next we have but worldly sorrow. This, we're just going to trace the shape of the world. Okay, pretend you got the world in your hands right now. Worldly sorrow. We're going to do the same thing we did first time. Sorrow. But worldly sorrow brings, we're bringing something to our chest again, it brings death. And you can stick your tongue out. We're dead now because worldly sorrow brings death. So <laughs> let's try just that hot. But worldly sorrow brings death. Second Corinthians uh, 7 Zen. <laughs> okay, so let's run it back to the beginning and put it all together. Godly sorrow brings repentance which leads to salvation and leaves no regret, but worldly sorrow brings death. Second Corinthians 7.10. Good job, you guys. I'll see you later.